Here we'll take a detailed look at what happens when metal oxides are added to water. We'll start with an example of a metal oxide called sodium oxide. Here are the Lewis structures for two sodium atoms and one oxygen atom. Metals on the left side of the periodic table, such as sodium, all have low electronegativity values. And oxygen, a non-metal near the right side of the periodic table, has high electronegativity. So if we imagine that we combine two sodium atoms with an oxygen atom, an electron is transferred from each sodium atom to the oxygen atom. So we're left with two sodium ions and an oxide ion. Metallic oxides all contain oxide ions. Because sodium oxide is made up of ions, it is called an ionic compound. Ionic compounds exist as crystal lattices made up of ions. Here we imagine a small sample of the crystal lattice of sodium oxide, Na2O solid. When solid Na2O is dissolved in water, dissociation occurs, where sodium ions and oxide ions leave the crystal. The dissociation equation is Na2O solid gives 2Na plus aqueous plus O2 minus aqueous, which is called the oxide ion. Sodium ions are neutral spectators, so we'll discard them here, leaving us with the oxide ion, O2 minus. But the oxide ion, O2 minus, is unstable in water. It is near the bottom of the right side of the acid table, so it is a very strong base. Here's the Lewis structure for the oxide ion. Normally Lewis structures of ions have brackets surrounding them, but we've left the brackets out here for simplicity. When a dissolved oxide ion comes in contact with a water molecule, the oxide ion being a strong base removes a proton from the water molecule, leaving it as a hydroxide ion. The proton is transferred to the oxide ion. The net charge on the resulting ion is negative 2 plus positive 1, which comes out to negative 1. So this is another hydroxide ion. So the net reaction can be summarized as saying an oxide ion reacts with the water molecule to form two hydroxide ions. The equation for this reaction is O2 minus plus water gives 2OH minus. Because O2 minus is a strong base, it reacts completely with water to produce hydroxide ions. So this equation has a single arrow pointing toward the hydroxide. Because OH minus ions are produced, the solution is basic. Because all soluble metal oxides produce oxide ions in water, then all soluble metal oxides ultimately produce hydroxide ions in water. So all soluble metal oxides form basic solutions in water. It's useful to know that metal oxides generally get more basic as one moves to the left of the periodic table. So for example, calcium oxide is more basic than zinc oxide. Now we'll look at a few equations we can write for metal oxides reacting with water. We'll consider the case of adding sodium oxide to water. The dissociation equation is Na2O gives 2Na plus plus O2 minus. The oxide ion then reacts with water to form two hydroxide ions. This is called hydrolysis. Now we'll add these two equations together. We see that O2 minus is on both sides, so we can cancel it out. We add what's left to get the overall equation. Na2O reacts with water to form 2Na plus plus 2OH minus. We can shorten this to a formula equation by writing 2Na plus plus 2OH minus simply as 2NaOH on the right. 
Now we'll have a look at the equations for calcium oxide. This can represent oxides of all the metals in group 2, the alkaline earth metals. When calcium oxide dissolves in water, it dissociates into Ca2 plus and O2 minus. The O2 minus reacts with water to form two OH minus ions. We'll add these two reactions together. We see that O2 minus is on both sides, so it can be canceled out. These now add up to give the net equation CaO solid plus water gives Ca2 plus plus 2 OH minus. This can be shortened to give the formula equation CaO solid plus water forms CaOH2 aqueous. We can summarize what we've seen by saying that metal oxides react with water to produce metal hydroxides, which are basic. For example, the metal oxide Na2O reacts with water to produce the base NaOH, sodium hydroxide. And the metal oxide CaO reacts with water to form the base CaOH2, calcium hydroxide. You should also know that metal oxides are also called basic anhydrides. The prefix an can mean without, and the root hydra refers to water. So a basic anhydride can be thought of as a compound without water, which reacts with water to produce a basic solution.